Actually, I haven't really been in a major accident before. They are all very minor ones. I remember the very, very first time I rode my scooter to work. That was just like two months after I got my license. Uh, and because the I was riding the old two-stroke scooter that's still running on drum brakes. So I couldn't gauge the braking distance and I rear end into the end of a car. Okay, there was a, a, a concept that I learned when I was uh, just, I just started riding, which is called the hazard-oriented vision. So when you're on the road, you're always scanning the road for potential hazards. Like example, you're on a major road and you're approaching a minor road that's adjoining to the major road. So that is a potential hazard because there may be cars spinning out and just turning the major road without looking. So you have to anticipate it and slow down. Or let's say um, you are riding in the middle lane and then there is a car on your uh, left and there's a big gap. So you may have to probably anticipate that the car may want to change lane because in front is clear. And I don't really believe in riding in numbers that will provide security. Uh, I mean, I traveled solo from Singapore to Europe and usually the accidents that happened was, it happened when I was with, riding with people. And because they brought me into a situation where I was not comfortable in, I was pressured to keep up with them. And we are on different bikes. And that is when the accident happened. And when I'm alone by myself, you know, I'm, I'm just doing whatever that I'm comfortable with. You know, I don't feel pressure. I don't feel that I need to conform to keep up with others. Um, yeah, so I think it's very important to have a, a good riding company rather than a big one. It is also very important to put ourselves in the shoes of other road users, be it the car driver, the cyclist, the lorry driver. They all have um, families at home waiting for them. Yeah, um, so keep a lookout for one another. Okay, put your ego aside um, and make the roads a safer place for, for everybody so that everybody can go home to their loved ones.